You are the fuck. Today on Trisha. I ain't had sex with my freaking wife in two months. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Whoa. What am I supposed to do? Hell, no. no. shut your mouth. He's not there treating me good, then she's gonna go get a Tessie? bum just like you. Tessie? Doris has convinced her son, Ricky, that Monique is cheating. She goes out and be gone for hours on end sometimes. One time, no, 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 one, one time. time. She even got him to abandon his eight children and move back in with her. My mom says that a real woman would not be treating me the way that she treats me. I get back home, his bags is packed. He's on the phone with his mom. Oh, son, come on home since she's treating you like this. What secrets will the lie detector reveal? Monique admitted that she does. Is this woman targeting men with disabilities? She takes their money, spends it, and leaves them. Heather says her brother is Christina's latest victim. I think she was already pregnant. Is this baby sister just enraged with jealousy? He said, I really, really like you, but my sister's known to run my girlfriends off. You're not good for my brother. <laughs> She is so suspicious, she started secretly recording his phone conversations. I heard him speaking to this woman. What was she saying? Like, oh my god, I can't wait to come see you. I'm <gasps> definitely gonna come holler at you. Did he confess to cheating just to make her mad? I told her that I was saving my stamina for this girl. And what happened? Putting hands on me, chasing me down the road, bleached I... all my clothes. I got... <gasps> Today on Trisha. This is Monique. Now, Monique says she's in a battle with another woman over her husband, Ricky. For the last eight years, this other woman has been out to destroy her marriage. Who is she? Ricky's own mother, Doris. Oh. Monique says her mother-in-law not only convinced Ricky she's been cheating, but even got him to abandon their eight children and move back home with her. <laughs> Listen to why they believe Monique is an unfaithful wife. Watch. I have been married to my wife, Monique, for eight years. We have eight beautiful children together, but right now our marriage is in a crisis. She blames my mom for the problems that we having in our marriage, but it's not my mom, it's Monique. I believe that she's cheating on me, and the things that she's telling me is just not adding up. I'm Ricky's mom, Doris, and I do not appreciate the way this woman is treating my baby. When Ricky calls me at 3 or 4 in the morning whining and crying about how she's been out all night, it breaks my heart. She gets up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, tell me she's going to work. I didn't even know she had a job. My mom says that a real woman would not be treating me the way that she treats me. It's unfair, and I believe what my mom says. My mom is not going to lead me in the wrong direction. She blames me for breaking up their marriage, but I haven't broken up anything. My wife claims that I abandoned my family to go be with my mother, but the truth of it is, it's only so much a man can take. She just wants me out of his life, but I'm his mother. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, Monique, if you and Ricky have an argument, what happens? Who does he tell? His mama. What does he say to her? Oh, I can't stand the way she treat me. Oh, 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 son, come on home then. Come on home since she's treating you like this. And does he go home to her? He's there now. He quit his job and went back home to his mama. Oh. Okay, well, before Who would we... quit their job when they got eight kids anyway? <laughs> All right, well... Do you think she's the one who's put the idea in Ricky's head that you, you've been cheating? It, it got so bad that our daughter was in the hospital sick. She was born premature, 26 weeks early. Oh. And when she went to go see her, she was in the NICU. She was the smallest baby, like two oh. pounds. She had a 50-50% chance of living. She went to go see him. She came home, she shook her head. She was like, that is not your child. Just because of her color, just because of her complexion. I, I understand you had a I DNA said, test. Yep, and I said, send it to her doorstep and let her put it on her refrigerator. And there it is at her doorstep on her refrigerator. So, Monique, I've got a list here. You said he does routine body inspections. He checks your phone. Yeah, he checks my phone. How's he text, doing that? text messages, you know. I don't have no problems. He got pass codes, uh, credit card, debit card codes, whatever. You can check whatever Has out. He I don't have anything? nothing. He hasn't found nothing. He has nothing. He has nothing on me. Nothing. Nothing. Monique, before we meet 
Ricky and get to the lie detector results, I want to bring out the other woman, if you like. Monique claims she is breaking up her marriage. So come on out, Doris. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Doris. Hello. Hi, what do you think of Monique? Monique needs to grow up. My son's How just How do you the know what I'm I know doing? I, I we stayed, stayed with you. I stayed with you. How, with how you, long have you stayed been with me? With you. Okay, so somebody who's pregnant, it, all somebody of who's sick, I, 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 you think that I'm not tired? You have to take it. I have eight. You're not in my body. You're not in my body. That's right. Me and him. Me and him. It's all me and him. He is all her. That's right. You know what? Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let me understand this. You're saying that you think. Monique should grow up. Yeah. And yet, Ricky is how old? He's 35. And he's still running home to mummy? Yes, he will. Yes, that's right. Because he has nobody else to run to. One time before, you thought that Monique had been cheating. I understand you, you looked at her little baby, her middle daughter, and said, yes. that's not his child. She had a DNA test, and it, it was Ricky's baby. Do you think she's still cheating? I don't know. She goes out and be gone for hours on end sometimes. One time. No, 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 one, one time. time. How do you Which know? Time? Been there, How do you have know? Money. Ricky says he has a mind of his own, and he has evidence to prove his wife is a cheater. So everyone, please welcome Ricky. When's the last time you saw your wife? I haven't seen my wife in about two and a half weeks, so almost three weeks. And you, you see how this picture is? How she's sitting in the middle with he on the end? This is how we can see her. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, wait, 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 Let me say something. Let me say something. I'm sick and tired of being in the middle of this freaking nonsense. We're going to get all this straightened up right now. First of all, baby, I love you. Nobody can take your place, okay? But you gotta understand, this is my mama. This is my only mama. I don't know about none of y'all out there, but we all get one mama, and we gotta love our mama. Call me a mama's boy, whatever you wanna call me. I don't got no brothers or no sisters. So if something happens to my mama, I'm gonna be there regardless. <laughs> flat out, flat out. I love you. Hey, hey, so wait, your wait, mama wait, 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 your wait, kids. wait, don't wait, you, wait, hold they on, only listen, have listen. One five Two. How would on. you leave your listen, freaking listen, kid? Listen, listen. Ricky, Ricky, can you explain that? Yes. They first got of one. All, I will never abandon my kids. You that ain't that ain't abandon me. You left me abandon me. Let me abandon me. Can I freaking talk? Hold on, just a minute. They ain't telling you. Daddy, we want you out. They ain't booing you to the car. They up in your face. Oh, Daddy, we need you. Daddy, we need you. Don't leave. It ain't even a okay. I'm gonna go down. I'll come back. Wait a minute, man. Is it true that when she came home, you would sniff her private parts? First of all, you just say yes yeah, or no. Will yeah, you? I'm, I done smelled it. Yeah, I'm gonna smell it. When you telling me you going to the store and the store 20 minutes away and you coming back two or three hours later and it's consistent, it's happening like this all the time. I'm shopping yeah, for I'm 10. Smell I'm, I'm, and that's I'm gonna smell it. Yeah, that's I'm gonna smell it. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She done smell me. Understand, it ain't just me smelling her. Oh, she smelling smell me, oh, too. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, let me smell you, right, too. Okay. I'll no, tell how you who are taking a lot of time okay. to You accusing me of cheating on you? They yeah. always say come on somebody who accused oh, somebody of cheating come on is a it. cheater I anyway. I love you, too. I love you, too. Right <laughs> Take me through this. Uh, you checked through her phone. Yeah, well, I'm not checking to see if she's doing something. If I, if, if a text message comes through yeah. and I see something that seems kind of strange, like I'm going to bring it to like her what? attention. Something Three, four o'clock in the morning, people texting, and the number is unknown. It's something suspicious about that. Remember, we live in Georgia. She don't have no friends or nothing down there. Why you on the phone all night? This job that you question, we saw on the tape that you were questioning mm -hmm. whether Monique really had a job. What, why were you, you said you didn't even know she had a Listen, job? Listen, it's five or six in the morning, okay? Yeah. Monique goes, get in the shower. Yeah. I'm asleep. I wake up. I'm trying to figure out why the water running. I see her getting out the shower. I'm asking her, where's you going? She say, I'm going to work. Uh -huh. She didn't even tell me she had a job. Now, I'm supposed to be your husband. You would think, OK, baby, did I'm going him, to work. Did you tell, so, did you tell if me If I job? just say I'm going to work, what is that telling you? Why you ain't you? tell me you had a job? You already though. knew I was you working. I was uh -huh. working two days when? prior to that. When? Two days before then. And we didn't even have serious. He jumping in 
in a car. He jumped in a car. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Just a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? He jumped in a car. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I'm typing in the GPS. He's talking about you all cheating. I would not leave five or six o'clock in the morning to go meet no man for my kids. I'm not the one that abandoned. I'm not the one that leaves. I've never abandoned my kids. I've never left my kids. Just a minute, she just a minute, just a minute. What is going to change? Because the other thing that I heard mm -hmm. is that your mom brought up some doubts about one of your little girls, mm -hmm. had a DNA test, mm -hmm. it came back, that daughter was yours. Yes. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So how the hell is any lie detector test going to change Diddly squat. It's gonna change a lot. If she cheating on me, it's a wrap. No, if she's yeah, not, if she's saying. not. If she's not, yeah. then we need to leave from here today and we need to be a better family. If she's not cheating what on me. What does that mean? That means she Who has to it? trust me and I have to trust her. And you, you need to stop ways. calling your mama on the 24th. I'm gonna call you. As you all know, Monique, Monique wanted to clear her name, so she took a lie detector mm -hmm. test administer, uh, administered by Tim Acosta, our private mm -hmm. investigator and polygraph examiner. Tim? Yeah. Come on, Tim. Yeah. Come on, can I stand up for this? Why? Up for this. No, sit. Come on, come on. Sit. OK, so as usual, I do not know uh, anything except for what I'm reading on this card. I'm going to read out the question that was asked of Monique. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. So here are the questions asked of Monique. We asked you, Monique, when you went to the rapper's party, mm -hmm. remember that one, did mm -hmm. you have sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Tim? Coming up, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission. Monique admitted that she does. But first, did you not come to the house? No! no, shut your mouth. When he, when you went to the house, I'm not going to home. And later, I told her that I was saving my stamina for this girl. And what happened? Putting hands on me, chasing me down the road, bleached I, all my clothes. I got <laughs> Detectors, DNA, and family feuds. Today on Trisha. Right. Now, this is Heather. Heather is here to rescue her baby brother, Ricky, from the clutches of his girlfriend, Christina. Heather says today she intends to expose Christina as a liar, a cheater, and a manipulator who targets men with disabilities, like Ricky, for their disability checks. More importantly, Heather's also here to prove to Ricky, despite his certainty, that he is not the father of Christina's five-month-old son, Liam. Watch. My brother's girlfriend's trying to pin this baby on him, and I know it's not his. When Christina showed up on my porch on July 7th, I believe she was already pregnant. She knew my brother was on disability and saw an easy way out for herself. She claims that baby was early. That baby was seven pounds when it was born. That's not a premature baby to me. On the first of every month, Christina gets my brother's check, spends it all, and by the third, she's kicking him out. This girl doesn't love my brother. She lies to him, cheats on him, uses him, and she's nothing but a lazy whore. Christina makes me sick. She's known to go after men on disability. She takes their money, spends it, and leaves them. Ricky and I were best friends until this bitch got there. We'd get up and watch TV together, eat breakfast together, and play basketball together, and everything changed when that whore walked in. Christina thinks she's going to get away with this, but I'm going to expose her for everything she's done. Heather, you're here to save your baby brother. How close were the two of you before Christina we turned up? We were best friends. Tell us about Christina's reputation. You said she's got she a She has been known. Her last three exes were on disability. So you think she's using your brother? This yes, is all I do. Part. And you think she's messing around behind his back? Yes, I do. What makes you think that? A guy called my brother and said, ever since you've been with Christina, I've been <gasps> her. And so you're wondering whether this little boy, whether Liam is he actually He does here. not look like my brother. Mm -hmm. I feel no connection with, with this baby. 
I mean, he's got blue eyes like my brother. He doesn't have a toe, an ear, a hair, nothing that looks like my brother. What does Ricky say about this? He does whatever she says. Okay. And it makes me sick. He needs to be independent and stand up for himself to that nasty little hair. Oh. Yeah, laugh, bitch, laugh. Okay, well, last night, last night, Ricky and Christina sat down with our producers, so listen to how they feel about these accusations. Watch. We're here to prove to my sister Heather that I am Liam's father. She just made my life a living hell. All she does is talk about how much I'm using him. Heather and I are not close at all anymore. I don't like being around my sister because all she does is talk stuff about my girlfriend and my son. It makes me angry when Heather says Ricky isn't Liam's father. She's just mad because we have the perfect family and she has nothing. I'm not backing down because I'm not scared of her. I miss my sister so much it hurts me. My family means everything to me, and I finally find someone I really love. I'm sick and tired of Heather's accusations. I know Ricky is Liam's father, and I'm gonna defend my family until the end. Well, I think it's time we met the woman accused of tearing well, Heather's better... family apart. Please welcome Christina. <laughs> you got the perfect family, bitch. You have nothing. You live in the project. Okay. So, Christina, let's go through some of the things you've been accused of. How long were you and Ricky talking on Facebook? Probably a week, maybe five, seven days. And is it true after that you, you just turned up at the house? He asked me to come to Indiana. Not to live. And you've been with him ever I've since. I've been with him ever since. You were pregnant when you turned up? No, I didn't get pregnant till his birthday. Uh, you target men for their disabilities no, is one I of the... No, I don't date people with disability checks. Ricky and the other guy Did she are the not one. tell you that my brother was on disability before you got no, there? No, she did not. You're a liar. I'll take a You're lot a of texts on that, too, You're if you want liar. to after the show. You're a liar. Okay. okay. Why do you think Heather is so hateful? Why does because she, hate she runs so off all because Ricky's girlfriends. Because you're trash. All of them. If you was a good... If you was a good... I would try to run you off. You're no good for my brother. You're no good for my brother. It's my turn. No good for my brother. It's my turn. No good for and my brother. And why do you think that is? Do you White think it's about the money? She acts like they're married. They would wake up and eat breakfast he together. He was my best TV friend. You can ask him. Let me ask a question. Coming back to the money, who is now signed as the payee of Ricky's this checks? Nasty I am because they she were taking his money. She went behind my mom's back and stole his check from us. From her, my mom. He signed it. Over. You went behind her back and took that check from he my mother. He told her you about it. You made us homeless for two weeks because of that. Because you won't get off your lazy ass and get Bitch, a job. I'm no concern of yours. I'm no concern of yours. And I'm We're no concern of yours. Too. Exactly. You're so let him be a man. Okay, hang on. Just a, here's another question. Have you ever cheated on Ricky? Have not. Yes. Ne Never. <laughs> what happens if it comes back? I don't want her to apologize to us. Oh. Apologize to my son and I, your brother. I, I will. I don't plan on apologizing to you. I, I don't hate want your guts. You. I will apologize to my brother. I know you will. But you're still trash to me. I don't care. <laughs> So I think it's time we met the man in the middle. Let's meet Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. You miss your sister? Yes, I do. What do you think about her saying that Liam is not your son? <laughs> he is mine. Do you think she's jealous of Christina being in your life now? No. You... Tell over the baby. I'm mad. Oh, the baby. I'm yes, mad that Christina tore us away from each other. And oh. then when she kicked you out a few months ago, did you not he come to the house? No, no, shut your mouth. When he, when you oh. went to the house, she kicked you I out. On my own. When we used to live at the house. Uh, uh, when I we used to live at the house, did you not come to the house and say, Heather, I'm, I'm leaving her. I'm done with this. Oh, you didn't? So tell me, what does your family, what does your family and your relationship with Christina mean to you? It's everything to me. This is my life now. And that's your little boy. You've got a picture there. You, you yes, really believe he's your little boy? Yes, ma'am. He looks yes, nothing like you. Do you love Christina? Yes, I do. So let's get to the results. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> OK. Uh, first, what we do is uh, this is the DNA test. Mm -hmm. OK, who wants to open the envelope? I her. will. Oh, yeah, let's let her. Let yeah, me. Her. OK, this is to see whether Liam, if Liam is your son, Ricky. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. Up next, we asked Christina, do you purposely kick Ricky out of the house after you get his check? Oh. And later. 
I told her that I was saving my stamina for this girl. And what happened? Putting hands on me, chasing me down the road, bleached I... all my clothes. I got oh! You are the fire. Get off my stage. Lie detectors, yes, DNA, and family feuds. Today on Trisha. My brother's girlfriend's trying to pin this baby on him, and I know it's not his. When Christina showed up on my porch on July 7th, I believe she was already pregnant. She knew my brother was on disability and saw an easy way out for herself. You target men for their disabilities. No, one I don't date people with disability checks. Ricky did and the other guy Did she not one. tell you that my brother was on disability before you got no, here? No, she did not. You're a liar. If she was a good girl, and if I knew for a fact this was your kid, I would drop everything. But she well, is trash, and you today. know it. Well, we're going to find out. This is to see whether Liam, if Liam is your son, Ricky. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. He is your son. Thank oh, you! Come on! It don't matter. You're still a cheater and a liar and you use him. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Is that good? It don't matter. Yes, it, is. it don't matter. Sitting in our audience is Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner. So Tim now has the results of Christina's lie detector test. We asked Christina, do you go after men with disability checks? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was not being truthful. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank let's you! Keep going. Thank you! Sit down! We thank asked you. you, are you in love with oh Ricky? God. You thank said you. yes. Oh my God, like you're The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Thank you. Okay, you do love him, but you're still using him! We asked you. We asked you. We asked you. During your relationship with Ricky, have you had sexual intercourse with an ex? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Thank you! It don't matter, you're still using it for this check. Just a minute, maybe it's just the case that Christina is the only one who treats Ricky as a person rather than a disability on me. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I'm so sorry. I just want right for my brother, is all I want. I love him. I mean, that's all she wanted to know. Up next, I heard him speaking to this woman. What was he saying? Like, oh my God, I can't wait to come see you. I'm <gasps> definitely gonna come holler at you. And later, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she... Detectors, DNA, and family feuds. Today on Trisha. Hey, I want everyone to meet Tessie. Tessie is here today because she suspects Donnell, the man she loves and the father of her three-year-old daughter, Shayla. She yes. looks so cute. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. But she suspects oh. Donnell has been stepping out on their relationship. Yes. Yeah. In fact, Tessie yeah. says Donnell once confessed to cheating, but then he took it back. <laughs> yes. Now, Tessie is so hell-bent on exposing Donnell's lies that she started secretly recording his phone conversations. <laughs> so, before we go any further, let's take a look at Tessie's story. When I became pregnant, I was very ecstatic. I could not wait to have my child. Having my little girl made me so selfless that I can't even imagine what I was doing before she came along. All I worry about is how she feels. As long as she's happy, I'm happy. My heart is broken into pieces at the thought that Donnell could actually hang out with everyone else, all these other women besides me and his child. He acts like he did not make any commitments to me and my child to be a man that he's supposed to be. 
if Donnell sells this test, he does not have to worry about seeing me anymore. It's not gonna be no time for no more lying, boo-hoo, kissing butt, making up, because I could do bad all by myself. So Tessie, you think Donnell's cheating. What's yeah. the evidence? What have you seen that makes you think that? I heard him speaking to this woman. What was he saying? Like, oh my God, I can't wait to come see you. I'm <gasps> definitely gonna come holler at you. Where are you at? So did you confront him with this evidence? Yeah, you know what happened? He calls you names? Called me all types of names. Like what? Bitch, ho. I'm cheating, um, I'm not worth nothing. Okay, let, let, let me cut to the chase. How many times do you think Donnell has cheated on you? I don't know. I don't even know when he lies or tells the truth. What happens if he fails the lie detector test? I'm going. I have to be going. I have to be. All right. Donnell has been listening backstage, listening to all of these accusations. So let's bring him out here, hear what he has to say. Please welcome Donnell. Ready? <laughs> Hi. How you doing? You almost didn't make it here today. Uh, what happened the night before coming here? He went to start a fight so he didn't have uh, to come and take a lot of A bunch of the same stuff. Test. Never what? letting me talk, it's accusing me of everything, putting hands on me, uh, really? uh, chasing me down the road, bleached I... all my clothes. I got issues. Oh! Broke I got issues. TVs, yep. all kind of stuff. What? With TVs? Oh, Smashed yeah. them like it ain't nothing. Can you buy me a new heart, honey? <laughs> Can you fix my heart? Okay. No. Right. Let's talk about let's talk about the issues. I hear from Tessie that you admitted that you cheated and then you took it back. Yeah, I. I and he lied about I, it, then I, admitted yeah, it. Yeah, I lied then about lied it. About I it said it that again. I was with that girl just because I know it would make her mad. She didn't like the girl because of, it don't make sense. because I told her that I wouldn't that I was saving my stamina for this girl. Just and I was too fat. Because and sloppy she was to telling mess me with. she was she was telling me she was done it's with too uh, fat and sloppy she to was mess telling me with. she was done with her uh, with this guy that she still was with. Since the two of you have been a couple, have you cheated? No. Let, let's go back to the beginning of your relationship. <laughs> right. She's with another guy. <laughs> she tells you that she's pregnant. I told her it wasn't mine. So did you ever have the baby check to see who's oh, yes. Do you want things to change should the lie detector test come back that you haven't been cheating? Do you want things to change between the two of like you? Like she said, it, it's not all about the lie detector test. Oh. I can't even raise my voice a certain way, that it, not even disrespecting her without her flipping out or being disrespectful, so. Oh, well, I mean, she, she says you're disrespectful to her. Yeah, it's, it, it, it goes back and forth. I give respect when it's due. <clears throat> I actually give you respect until you disrespect me. I don't care who you are. Okay, I hear, now, I'm gonna interrupt here. I know you're a woman, you're a man, is, but there's a child yes. in between all of this. Yes, hearing. That's the bigger picture. Yeah, that's I've disrespected right. and did stuff in front of my child. All right, before we get into an argument about disrespecting here to help is our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. Yay! <laughs> now, here's how it goes. Donnell took a lie detector test. I'm going to be given a card with the questions on. I don't know what he said, and Tim is going to tell us whether Donnell was lying or telling the truth. So, Donnell, we asked you, are you in love with Tessie? You said yes. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined. Up next, this relationship isn't going to change unless the both of you change. <laughs> if you own up to your part <laughs> in a situation <laughs> happening, then it can be worked on. And later, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does. <laughs> DNA and family feuds. Today on Trisha. When I became pregnant, I was very ecstatic. I could not wait to have my child. My heart is broken into pieces at the thought that Donnell could actually hang out with everyone else, all these other women besides me and his child. If Donnell sells this test, he does not have to worry about seeing me anymore. I could do bad all by myself. I hear from Tessie that you admitted that you cheated and then you took it back. 
Yeah, I, I, I he lied about I, it, then I, admitted yeah, it, I lied then about lied about it. I said it that again. I was with that girl just because I know it would make her mad. Since the two of you have been a couple, <laughs> have you cheated? No. So, Donnell, we asked you, are you in love with Tessie? You said yes. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. Oh! Uh, yeah. We asked Donnell, have you had sexual relations with any one other than Tessie since you've been in a relationship with her? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined he was not being truthful. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not being hey, truthful. Just be honest, you look I'm like you're not. Hang on. Did you have sex with either of the women you drove to Philly? Mm -hmm. uh, you said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined he was not being truthful. I did. Oh. That's oh. Not true. But you passed the first one. That's crazy. But you passed the first one. Here's another not. question. Do you them, believe you have children with any other mm. woman besides Tessie? Like you it. said no. Oh. Tim? He had significant reactions to the question, which indicates he, again, is not being truthful. You thought that was a You even told me that, though. I do believe this man loves you, but I believe that you are so up in his face, you are so aggressive, <laughs> you are so full on... <laughs> I'm telling you the truth on lie detector Yeah, test. but the yeah. trouble is, here's the one. When we asked you if you loved Tessie, that came back truthful. Yeah, but so the... either they're all wrong, how can some be wrong and some be right? That makes sense. Do you want the relationship to continue in the way it's been going? No. You don't? I don't want the, it to continue with, with the fighting stuff, no. Uh, what's to continue? Because you made it this way. You know you got... how it got like okay, that. Okay, so while I talk again... If it's going to change... You was the only if, one to change if, it, if so why didn't it get changed If we could change it, then, yeah, it can continue. Right but now, it's, it's not, not never going to be changed. Why it's, didn't it's, you it's... change it? No. We are. This relationship is like it is because of the two of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The two, not one, not the other. The two of you. Now, if... It's really okay, not. It, now, OK, here's the problem. It's really not. This relationship isn't going to change <laughs> unless the both of you change. <laughs> and the problem is... The problem is if either one of you acts like a victim. Victims are helpless. They cannot change things. If you own up to your part <laughs> in a situation <laughs> happening, then it can be worked on. Do you hear what That's I'm saying? That's all I want you to hear, miss. I've never denied nothing I've done. I know I'm a bitch. I know I can bitch, but I'm real. Okay. I've never lied, I... and I know I can nag, but I nag when I can look at someone in their eyes and your expressions and tell you're lying. If this <laughs> continues, and it will continue, it's gonna harm your daughter. Fact. We know this. You I've been, said I've been begging you said for three years. Right. We don't have to be together. Janelle, Just be real. Janelle, will you, will, I have a will child. Will you do me a favour? Do you, will you do me a favour? I'm your mother. She doesn't I'm have to me. I'm gonna get you just to stand at that door there. Just, just stand that at that door. door. Yeah, just here. Just at the door here. I'm gonna get you to stand there. No, stay there. Okay, Janelle, stay, stay there. Here. Stay there. Tessie. I'm not upset. Miss, I have a little girl to look up to me. I she know. looks up to her daddy. And if he's not there treating me good, then she's T gonna go get a Tessie, bum just like you. Tessie. And I can't have do that. Do you <laughs> want to leave? If you leave with Danelle and sit down with her counselor, I do not <laughs> want her to have to go through this. Do you want to be with him or do you not want to be with Miss. him? If you want to be with him, <laughs> then please go through that door. If you need time to think and work out how to be a strong parent and a strong mother, please take the time to go through that door and have counselling on your own. Thank so you so much for having me on your show. You have a blessed day. I'm going to tell you um, what I would suggest to you do for your daughter's sake mm -hmm. is to talk about stopping this chain of events. You hear what I'm saying? The row and the screaming, the shouting, all of this sort of stuff, yeah. so your li little girl doesn't see it. I'm really upset that your daughter should see any part of that. And as her parent, you've got to be, because yeah. you know what? She's going to end up in a similar in situation. A situation. Yeah. OK? Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. I need some type of counseling. Yeah. I need some counseling. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does. Lie detectors, yes, DNA, and family feuds. Today on Trisha. 
I have been married to my wife, Monique, for eight years. We have eight beautiful children together, but right now our marriage is in a crisis. She blames my mom for the problems that we having in our marriage, but it's not my mom, it's Monique. I believe that she's cheating on me, and the things that she's telling me is just not adding up. She blames me for breaking up their marriage, but I haven't broken up anything. You see how this picture is? How she's sitting in the middle when he on the end? This is how we live here in our lives. Wait, 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 wait. How would you leave your listen, freaking feet? Listen, listen, listen. Is it true that when she came home, you would sniff her private parts. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm out of smell. Then yeah, I'm gonna smell it. They yeah. always say come on somebody who oh, cute, somebody you cheating is a cheater me. anyway. I love you too. I love you too. I'm gonna read out the question that was asked of Monique. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. So here are the questions asked of Monique. We asked you, Monique, do you feel trapped in this marriage? Oh, Tim, admission I've got. Monique admitted that she does feel trapped in a marriage. Are you with Ricky because of the children? Oh, I've got Tim admission again. Monique did admit that she is with him because of the children. <laughs> okay. That's not the only reason. <laughs> we asked you, do you think you would be happier with Ricky if Doris wasn't around? Oh, t yeah. Tim admission. Monique admitted that she would be. Oh, well, no, too freaking bad. It's my mom's. I don't bother Hang on, like just that. a minute, I just don't. a minute, just a minute. Let's keep going. We asked you, when you went to the rapper's party, mm -hmm. remember that one? Did mm -hmm. you have sexual intercourse with another man? Mm -hmm. You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with another man when you came home smelling like sex. You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, during your marriage to Ricky, have you had any type of sexual contact with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> Just a minute, just a minute. Excuse me. Yes. Can I have a hug? Please. You use the word I, 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 I. Mm. And yet when anything goes down, you, you have to have your mummy in your life. I get that. <laughs> but mummy, she's been horrible <laughs> to me. <laughs> I've lost my mum. Oh, and that was, But okay, what I'm saying is my mother and I spoke three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. Did she know the ins and outs of my marriage? No, because I'm a grown mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. Uh, now, I know, I Doris, know that, Doris, I know that you were very young. You were 17 yeah. years of age when you, when you had Ricky. Yeah. And I think you've been through some tough times as a single mum, as a teenage mum. It would be really hard. And I, I know you probably love having him around and what have you, but here's my concern. While he uses you as an excuse, oh, it is honey. tougher to stay and deal with something than to run away. Would you not agree? Yes, yeah, true. You would agree. Right, so that's yeah. two women agree. I would rather Mom stay there and deal right. with it. But well, what I'm saying, it takes you? two people to make a I marriage work. I agree. If he really cares... Forget about me at the times when I'm angry and when I'm frustrated and mad because I got to come home and be subjected to him smelling all my when I know I'm not doing nothing, so I'm crazy in my head right now. Think about your kids. Be there for your kids. And I'm really, really pissed off Man, that's boy, because his really. mom this, won't this tell him. Instead of sending for a bus ticket to take just him a minute, away, just a minute. she won't. Yeah. I hear what you're saying, saying but it's, say not, nothing, man. it's this, not this for your mom. Man. Do you think that what I'm saying is bull? No, it's not. I'm <laughs> saying, I ain't had sex with my freaking wife in two months. Oh, what, what am I supposed to do? Oh. What am I supposed to do? I mean, why? Detectors, DNA, and family feuds. Today on Trisha. 20-something years experience as a cop. Um, maybe you can tell us, just stand up very quickly and tell us what your experience is. Well, I served 20 years with the New York City Police Department. I retired as a first-grade detective in the Major K-Squad. 
I've, uh, I'm a certified polygraph examiner. I'm a certified law enforcement polygraph examiner. I've conducted polygraph exams for various police departments. I'm a member of all the major organizations which govern polygraph. I know what I'm doing, Tricia. <laughs> think about the guests on today's show follow us on Facebook and Twitter and, and let us know how you feel thank you to my studio audience and thank you for watching